What is so ancient only an internet veteran can remember? I remember sending my first email in 1983. And borrowing a dumb terminal to sign on to SFU's computer from home. The terminal was like the size of a 40 pound suitcase or sewing machine box. You open it by folding the keyboard down at one end at which point you will see a 3 by 4 inch monochrome display. You took your home phone handset and plugged it into two rubber holders. Then you dialed up the university. It was 300 bots so you could almost type faster. During the early days, there was an art project called Hell. Calm. I don't know if it still exists. It had shit down decades ago. It was an interesting amalgam of art and programming. Hidden links and messages would expand the amount of stuff to explore and experience. I spent hundreds of hours playing with the fractal project before finding the right combination of clicks to open a new page. It was wild at a time when most pages were walls of text. Every web page having textured backgrounds and animated GIFs. Yahoo being the search engine everyone used. Web-based chat where you had to keep refreshing to get any messages. Video downloads being so slow. I remember watching Star Trek Voyager teaser videos downloading, and even at low resolution they took 20 minutes to download, so spent ages watching the first 5 seconds multiple times. Then watching the first 10 seconds multiple times. I never read it or post it on it, but I was around and in various other news groups when it became a thing. The alternative rock news group was a treasure trove in which people either A argued about whether a band was actually alternative or not, B pretended to be the first one who ever heard a specific band who hit it big, C called each other posers, or D, all of the above. Good memories. Fiction-wise the first set at big may have been predecessors but that one got traction ebook site. Started in 2000, I got addicted to its weekly email lists and got a horde of books from it. BN bought in 2009 and shut it down in 2012. One of their stupider decisions. You were meant to move to Nook and compete with Amazon's Kindle but it was a far inferior offering more DRM, cost more and a lot of books limited to US. Windsocket. Abla Hypercard. BBS. Arcnet. Active and passive hubs. Do not pick up the phone handset when someone is using the internet. 300 Bob modem. Phone coupler. At commands. ASL. Electronic Mail. A funny name new company provided online search Yahoo. Google did not exist. Cybersex. Community free net ISPs and slip PPP dial-up connections. 2400 bought external haze modems and serial cables. 64k ISDN lines. Dreaming of being able to afford 128k dual line ISDN. Prodigy and CompuServe, other local BBSs. AOL and Black White, made on Max. By Max, for Max. Muds. Web rings. I thought I was the hottest shit when my Final Fantasy Tactics GeoCities page got added to a Final Fantasy web ring. It was legit just every single compressed JPG I could find mashed onto one page with no rhyme or reason. I remember when you couldn't use a computer and be on the phone at the same time unless you had two separate phone lines. And you had to dial into the internet. The provider gave out a list of numbers in case one was busy. But net. Rot 13 for NSFW jokes on. The story of Mel. Should be required reading for developers. The Meow Wars. And before there were search engines, there were actual books that published web addresses. Bro, I told you. Browse to the website. Everything is on there. What the fuck does that even mean? What the fuck is a website? Lamau, get good. Tim, you absolute weapon. Game Revolution for cheats. Ebombs World for laughs. Napster for music. IMDB forums for trolling. Imagination for masturbation because it took forever to load a single image let alone a video. Playing the original Slingo on AOL. It was the first game I played in which I was matched up with a bunch of randoms and we were given a chat scroll to say whatever TF we wanted to each other. The early days when you had to have the IP address and use Telnet to connect. This would have predated the commercial internet and been largely applicable to colleges or businesses connecting. Gover. Links text-based web browser, installing Linux in multiple section via 3.5 and floppy, T1 connections, ISDN and silver boxing. I could continue, but I think I already said enough. All you damn kids with your AOLs and your Netscapes. Why, back in my day you connected to the internet through Telenet. It was all newsgroups and green text as far as the eye could see. Having to download a song overnight on dial-up through some shady torrent site, and the next morning was like playing Russian roulette finding out if you downloaded a song or a virus. Merc, MSN Messenger, Orkut, 
News Ground Flash Animation and Games, The Impossible Quiz, The Elephant Song, The Scream Meme on That Car Commercial. Macron Sue Macron, you see back spang paths, and get off my lawn kids these days with their fancy schmancy 300 baud modems with RJ45 jacks. Real veterans use 110 baud acoustic coupler modems. Computers taking so long to boot into Windows that you would hit the power button, then go get a drink or do a couple of quick things around the house while waiting. Before YouTube there. I don't know if that is still around but playing all sorts of mini games and was a lot of fun back in the day. Discussion about fall of Berlin Wall on Usenet in real time predecessor of today's forums. Bulletin board systems PBS. Text based adventure games there are some still out there. The horrible sound of a modem connecting through a phone line. Web rings. Centipedes. In my vagina. The gopher protocol. Under construction gifts. Actually subscribing to mailing lists. AOL Instant Messenger The kid who made $1 million by selling 1 million pixels for people to place ads on his page forever, for just $1 a pixel. Waiting for the new issue of Computer Shopper magazine to read the ads and hardware prices. They were phone book huge in the mid-90s. The old website Bizarre Images or something like that. All the truly gruesome shit you could find on the internet at one location. When was a guy with long hair trying to find a girlfriend? I guess he found her and sold the domain to some evangelicals. The clicking sound Internet Explorer used to make. Changing your cursor to other things like a flaming sword or a gun. Rage Comics. Google had no ads, and bragged about it. Yada. That is a sweet earth, round, and we. Picking up the phone and hearing goodbye in the next room followed by hands slamming on a desk in a loud. Damn it. Calling my friend's house and getting the dial-up tones. Then hopping on AIM and seeing my dude X Blood Rivix online. Stick death. I see Q Messenger I think, every letter typed was committed in real time and you couldn't delete anything. Frederick Fox, the first YouTuber before YouTube was a thing e-bombs world at the time. 56k dial up. Having your internet connection dropped when someone called or picked up the phone. The screeching. When NT was used to signify no text, or don't waste your limited monthly bandwidth opening this message. I see Q. When imp skins, CDs to access internet, and the best of the best the glorious 56k modem dialing sound. Infoseek. Turning images off so pages would load faster and to save bandwidth. Add bars. Beans. Usenet. I would say bon't see buddy but due to videos by Vine Sauce Joel and Nations Quid everyone knows about him lol. Having a stack of magazines or something else by the computer to distract yourself while a webpage loads. When either phone or internet can work. This is an important question when you have a big family. Practically zero parental controls so kids could access porn and whatever goatsy is very easily. Watching the internet try different dial-up numbers until it found one to get to the interwebs. Signing up for a new email address and the username not already being taken. Glorious times. Going to get a cup of tea while the computer saved your multiplan file to the floppy disk. Starting a music download before I left for school and coming home and it being 85 done. W.H. Smith sold little books with company web addresses and because Google etc. didn't exist. It seems to me that even after reading this question, I heard this sound of the internet. Dancing baby. Your parents yelling at you to get off the internet because they're expecting a call. Giving your Windows 94 a PC aids by spending 8 hours downloading a song from LimeWire. Starting a download before you went to sleep, waking up to find it almost finished. When your parents kick you off the internet because they want to make a phone call. The sound of a dial-up modem does when connecting to the internet you young punks. Save Ferris. The IMDB had a message board. e -fetting. Mailing lists. Geocities. Didn't think I'd relate to anything in this thread. I know all of them, old man. I'm not that old but I still remember when videos were rated with stars. Using the one nuke exploit to remotely blue screen someone else's computer. 30 meters on LimeWire just to download a song, which turns out to be a virus. Whitehouse.com and. I didn't get the big deal about Cindy Margolis. No flat rates and paying hundreds a month because you played some quake. The gateway house spotted box. Hang up the phone. I need the computer. Internet suddenly cutting off because your mom made a phone call. Does dialing up a BBS on a 1200 baud modem count as internet? Processes function You got mail. Chat rooms that were filled with people instead of porn bots. The herald of the death of information. The dancing baby. The computer speakers making a noise before your phone rang. Taking 10 minutes to load the video because no streaming. Buying a physical book with URLs to popular websites in it. NCSA Mosaic and Telnet. 
All y'all are late to the party. You used to have to pay for internet access by the minute. People showing up for work and actually giving a shit. Trolling asked Jeeves by asking him about his sexuality. Mosaic and web crawler. Before that, BBS's and A-Lines. Naming your own price on groceries at. Can't think of anything right now. Let me ask Jeeves.